While some of us may be scared of bears, Jeff Watson is practically the father of two of these majestic creatures. He joins us in the Fox 401 studio to talk about Animal Planet's show, Project Grizzly. Welcome, Jeff. And may I correct, you're actually more of a mama bear. Yeah, that doesn't do my ego very, <laughs> very much, but uh, yeah, yeah, mama bear. Bear. Papa bears have nothing to do with the family unit. Right, exactly. So tell us a little bit about Project Grizzly. Project Grizzly is a program on Animal Planet. It runs on Saturday nights, 10 o'clock Eastern. It's about two grizzly bears that I raised, Bob and Screech. They were born in captivity, raised in captivity. And uh, I've had them, at this point, almost five years. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to take them into the wild, see if you could take captive raised bears and teach them to be bears. I didn't know exactly what they would know, what they would know instinctively. Um, and what I would have to teach them to do, like a mama bear, mm -hmm. and to be prepared to live in the wild on their own. So what are some of the things that you're doing to prepare them? Well, I can't tell you everything about the show. Uh, I want uh, viewers to see it. But uh, I, I, what they needed to know is how to fish, how to hunt, how to den up, how to forage. And these are things that I worked on when I had them out there. And I had to determine what they already knew and what I had to teach them. That's really interesting. Now, is it difficult for you because you are attached to these little guys? I mean, when I say little, it's about 700 pounds roughly for each of them. Is it, is it going to be difficult for you to say goodbye? Oh, I've got a bond with them. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. It's different for me than it would be for a, uh, a real mother bear mm -hmm. because a mother bear chases her cubs off, and I don't think she thinks about it the next moment. The cubs do. I mean, she's willing to die for them, and then when it comes time to cut the apron strings, she chases them off, and they're like, well, what's up with and this? And they never see their mom again? Well, they may see her, but, you know, the, the bond is done. Huh. They've been kicked out of the nest. Wow. Uh, and, and I don't believe that a mother bear possesses the emotions that a human does. Right. So it's going to be tougher for me. Because when she can't, she cannot come into estrus if she's lactating. So if she's nursing these cubs and she wants to breed again, then she has to kick them out of the nest, and uh, she's ready to breed. So, so how long is that time from a mama bear gives birth to seeing her cubs go? When is that like seven months? Where oh no, it depends on the, on the species of bear. But if you look at black bears and brown bears, mm -hmm. and brown bears are what we have on Project Grizzly. They're grizzlies, uh, which are brown bears. Uh, black bear may stay with its mother a year and a half. I mean, it's off on its own. Brown bears are going to be two and a half, three and a half, sometimes four and a half years. So that's why we decided to go now because it's, it's at the end of when a mother would chase the brownies off. Now, after Bob and Screech are ready to go into the wild and they're away from you for, for a bit, would they be able to recognize you years down the road? Oh, I'm sure. I'm mm -hmm. sure. There are people that have raised bears and they went to zoos and that animal still recognizes them. They're highly intelligent. Some people equate the intelligence of a bear uh, with that of, of primates. Mm -hmm. So they're highly intelligent. Well, there's also commonalities between human beings and bears, even to the way that they eat, to the way that they can walk, correct? Yeah, they're, they're bipedal, so they walk uh, on the stand on two feet, uh, and they're plantigrade, they walk heel toe. Mm -hmm. They have an all-in uh, radius in their forearms like we do. They can manipulate their paws like we do our hands. They eat what we eat. The Native Americans said they are the beast that walks like man, and they followed them around to see what foods they ate, and they would mm -hmm. try to replicate that. Uh, a, an old friend that I knew, he was an old German trainer, and he's been dead probably 15 years. He was in a, in a uh, Russian gulag. And uh, his, I guess he actually, from being a bear handler, he had studied the bear so much that that's what helped keep him alive in that gulag for three and a half years, is trying to find foods, foods that they would eat, you know, the roots and things. And uh, his daughter told me that the enemy, the, the Russians thought that he was fraternizing, or the other Germans thought he was fraternizing with the Russians, and they were giving him extra rations. <laughs> no, the bears are no. what helped keep him alive. He was just surviving the way that yeah. a bear would survive. Is there anything that people should know about bears that, that they don't, that there's some fables or things that are misleading about bears? Well, I don't know how many of your viewers have uh, ever heard that a bear can't run downhill as fast as, as it can on flat land. Mm -hmm. so some people say, well, run downhill from it. <laughs> I don't think it slows it down. They used to say their front, paws, or front legs are shorter than their hind legs. But even if it uh, were to slow a bear down, you know, a little bit, they're still going to outrun a human being. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can run 30, 35 miles an hour. So what about that whole thing about climbing up a tree if you see a bear? Can't they climb trees too? Black bears can climb trees. Some yeah. brownies can climb them, climb them at a certain age. Uh, for a black bear, that is an option. Get up a tree. Huh. If you can get up away from the bear high enough, uh, brown bear, get up the tree too. They're not going to climb up. But a black bear it gives you, even though the black bear can climb, you may be able to throw something down at it, mm -hmm. and maybe it won't try to attack you as much if you're up the tree. But you got to understand, even though brown bears can't climb like a black bear, because black bears have uh, very short, highly curved claws, mm -hmm. brown bears have long claws, so the black bear is more adept at climbing trees. If you can climb a tree, then the brown bear can climb that same tree because you're using limbs. You're not yeah. climbing like a squirrel. You see what I'm saying? So getting yeah. up there, the, what you want to do, let's say uh, you're 12 feet away from a tree. 
a bear is 40 feet away from you. Can you get to that tree and up the tree 10 to 12 feet before the bear gets to you? So what's your best survival route? If, you're, if you are in the, in the woods and you happen to run into a brown bear, what do you do? Do you just, do you just shrink down and kind of make a little ball and go to hibernation? Well, uh, <laughs> you may go to sleep. You don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, what you want to do is avoid the encounter altogether. Right. I know you're from New Hampshire. Uh, northern New Jersey. N New Jersey. Yep. And so you had black bear there. Mm -hmm. And black bears don't want to... To see people any more than, than brow bears do. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to avoid you. So you need to make noise. Okay. If they can hear you coming, they'll normally leave the area and you don't have a sudden encounter. You don't surprise them. That's the first thing you need to do with any bear in North America. Let it know that you're there so they can leave the area. Right. Don't have a sudden encounter. Don't surprise it. But if you do see a bear, don't look at it in the eyes. That's threatening behavior. Really? You want to be intimidating. You stand tall. Don't squat down right then because you're less intimidating. Mm -hmm. So you want to be intimidating. Stand up. Maybe spread your jacket uh, uh, wide, mm -hmm. but don't look at them in the eyes. That's threatening. Never turn your back and run from any bear because that triggers chase response. It's Ooh. like rolling a ball in front of a cat. Uh, that's the natural instinct, but don't do that. Okay. Stand your ground. Some experts say to tell the bear exactly what you, what you think. Hey, bear, I don't want any problems because your body language is hopefully going to convey exactly mm -hmm. you know, what you feel. Now, if you're going, hey, bear, I'm going to rip your head off, you don't feel that. No. You're scared. No. I don't care if, the, if it's the rock. <laughs> He's going to be scared of a big bear. All right, so you tell the bear exactly what you think. Hey, big guy, I don't want any problems. And hopefully that animal will back off. If you have a hat on, take your hat and throw it. Hopefully that will divert the animal's attention away from you, and then you can slip out. Okay. If the bear does make contact, if it's a black bear, more than likely it's an offensive attack. It's a black bear, and it's rare, but they may perceive you as food, so you want to fight back. Brown bears, grizzlies, statistically when they attack you, they perceive you as a threat, so you play dead. Okay. To, to let the bear know, I am no threat to you, you're young or your food source. There are too many uh, variables here, so people need to research this a little bit. So, mm -hmm. I mean, bears don't read the literature, right. so you may get the exception to the rule. So, uh, I just, I'm giving a few pointers, but I want to make sure that people research this on their own. Yeah, definitely. That's all really good advice, and it's incredibly interesting what you're doing, and hopefully we'll set a precedent for other bears that have been in captivity and then can go back into the wild one day. Well, we're never going to save all bears. I mean, no. uh, we're in New York right now, and they hunted 1,715 black bear in this state last year, and I'm not, I'm not picking a side on hunting mm -hmm. or anti I'm just saying that bears are going to die. We don't have enough habitat for people and bears to share. Um, there are bears that are going to be orphaned, and they need to go somewhere. New York City has got at least seven brown bears that came out of the wild because mm -hmm. they got too close to people. There's going to be, come a time where zoos aren't going to be able to take new residents because bears can live a long time. If and they, bears are also extremely expensive, and, and you've, you've done incredible work with it. So Yes, they're expensive. They can cost you an <laughs> arm or a leg on a bad day. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. The show debuts Saturday, November 12th at 10 p.m. Eastern on Animal Planet. For Fox Farm One, I'm Diana Felzone, and I'm very happy that you are here with us.